Hi, my name is Blackson, and I play Warlock on Zul'jin Alliance. I wanted to briefly demonstrate a new mod titled Whisper Whisper that's designed to help keep track of whisper conversations. Inspired by both SL Data Text and the old Whisper Foo, this add-on is both lightweight, simple, and extremely customizable. Here, I'm starting with just a fresh install of the mod and no other mods turned on. So, without further ado, let's get started. When you first log on, you'll notice in the center of your screen the add-on's mainframe. This frame can be dragged anywhere you want on your screen. Once you have it where you want, for me I want it here, simply right-click and hit toggle lock to lock it in place. Now I'm going to be using a friend's account to simulate a conversation. You'll notice that when I get a new whisper that the text changes to the name of the previous person whispering me. It also changes to a green color to indicate that I've received a new whisper. Later, I'll show you how you can customize that color or customize, di customize different types of alerts. When mousing over the frame, I can also see their whisper. Left-clicking on the frame initializes a whisper to that person. So here I'm going to say, hey there, Chuck Foxtrot. Once I send a whisper back, the frame now changes to a bluish color to indicate that I sent the most recent whisper. When mousing over the frame, you'll see that the colors represent who said what. The green stuff was stuff that the other person said, while the blue is stuff that I said. So the next question is, what happens when you're talking to more than one person? To demonstrate, I'm going to have a fake conversation with a guildmate of mine named Baltog. When I whisper Baltog, the name on the frame now changes to Baltog. Mousing over the frame shows the conversation that I'm having with Baltog rather than the previous person, Chuck Foxtrot. If I want to see the conversation with other conversations I've had with other people, I simply need to right-click and mouse over their names. Mousing over each name shows the entire conversation, and clicking on the name will initially initiate a whisper to that person. So, getting back to Chuck Foxtrot, so what are you doing next weekend? You'll see again that because the most recent conversation is with Chuck Foxtrot, the frame has changed to Chuck Foxtrot. All of this is extremely customizable with the Options panel. You can get to the Options panel by right-clicking and hitting Options, or by going to your Interface Options in the default Blizzard UI. The first screen represents the general options. At the top, you can specify the number of players per, to remember and the number of whispers per player to remember. Here, they are both set to 10 by default, so the add-on will store the 10 most recent players and the 10 most recent things said between each of those players. The add-on remembers conversations between sessions, sessions unless you choose to clear them. You can clear the conversations with the button at the bottom or by alt-left-clicking on the frame. The next two checkboxes are about combat. You can choose to allow or disallow mouse overs in, while in combat or just hide the frame completely while in combat. You can also hide the frame completely all the time and display it only in the bar mod as a plugin. Bar mods are things such as Titan Panel and Chocolate Bar. I'll demonstrate those later. The final option is an alternate view mode, which I'll show at the end of the video. When you expand out the options menu, you'll see two more option areas. The first is frame options, which allows you to customize the add-on's appearance. Here you can specify the fonts, the font sizes, and the colors. The fonts are pulled from the default Blizzard fonts, but you can upload more using shared media. Before I move on, let me change some of this up. So I'm going to change it to Morpheus and make it really big. And I think I'm going to change the scent color to pink and the received color to cyan. I'm also going to change the tooltip font to something like Arial Narrow and make it, I don't know, a little bigger. So now it's Arial Narrow, and you can see the conversation. Uh, you can reset all of this by hitting the Restore Defaults button. It's pretty obvious. But more importantly, you can also use a static color. The static color will make it so that the add-on always appears with the same color and kind of blends in better. It doesn't matter who sent the most recent whisper. It could be you or someone else. 
So here I'll set it to blue, and even if he whispers me back, again, fake conversation, you notice it still stays blue. The next area are flash notifications. Here you can make it so that the frame will flash at you each time you receive a new whisper. So I'm going to enable flash notifications. I'm going to turn all of them on. I'm also going to go back really quick and just make this bigger so it's a little easier to see. So when I receive a new whisper, you'll notice now that it starts flashing and has some cool icons and stuff nearby. By default, the flash will last about 10 seconds, and the flash will go away as soon as you enter combat. You can obviously uncheck that by using the options. If you don't like all the fancy stuff, you can turn off, say, the top and bottom icons. And so now just flash the two circles. The flash will stop even if the time isn't up by just mousing over. Or if I reply, so here I'll send myself a whisper again. Hey there, the flash obviously will stop. You can also alter the flash duration so it does it a single flash or a double flash or 10 seconds, which is about five flashes. Or you can just make it flash indefinitely until you mouse over or until you respond. Now, if you ever want to get back to setting everything back to the way it was when you first got it, you can just come back and hit the reset profile button. It uses the default WoW Ace profile and uh, lets you kind of customize it per character. Now, the next thing I want to show is how this mod integrates into things such as Titan Panel or a Chocolate Bar or Whisper Foo with Broker to Foo Bar enabled. So here I just opened up a fresh Titan Bar that only has the clock going, and I'm going to add Whisper Whisper. So to do that, you right-click and go to General and just click on the circle, and now you see that Whisper Whisper appears up here. And it's basically the same functionality as the mainframe. You can left click, right click, shows everything that was shown before. So when you come here now, you can just turn this frame completely off and only have it show up here. Just to briefly show Chocolate Bar here, Chocolate Bar actually will automatically incorporate all broker uh, add-ons onto the bar. So when you load Chocolate Bar for the first time, uh, you should see Whisper Whisper already at the top. If it's not there, you simply need to right click, come down to Broker Whisper Whisper, and make sure that it's enabled. And you can also turn it off by disabling. The final thing that I want to show is the alternate view mode. You can get to the alternate view mode by coming down to Options and just checking the alternate view mode. Now, normally, just to go back and show what it looked like before, when you mouse over, you will see the most recent conversation. But for people who have a lot of conversations, that might not be the most ideal way to view their whispers. So in the alternate view mode, it always will show the right-click menu when you hover over. So if you're talking to multiple people, Like now, I'm talking to multiple people. I can mouse over them a lot faster and have to right click each time. And you can reply to anything said just by clicking. One last little thing worth mentioning is that Whisper Whisper does work with Real ID in addition to regular players. This guy is one of my friends, and as you can see, I got his permission first to share his real name. If I left click, it will pop up with the Real ID, and I can still talk to him. So, ST2 later. Hopefully, he'll say yes. And that's about it. If you like Whisper Whisper, please suggest it to some of your friends. I'm always looking for new users who can come up with cool new features for any of my add-ons. You can download Whisper Whisper from Curse or WoW Interface, and the links are in the video's description. As with all of my add-ons, please post any comments, suggestions, questions, bug reports, or feature requests. Hope you enjoy!